Hey everyone, welcome home to Safe Haven, it's Brittany. So in today's video, we'll be looking at seven affordable housing options across Kingston, Jamaica. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep on watching. So as you know, on this channel, we're all about house and home, and I wanted to show you guys some affordable housing options in Kingston. Now, all these housing options will be under $15 million because I took a poll on Instagram asking persons what they thought was like an affordable housing option in Kingston. I put up um, 10 to 20 million or under 15 million, and the majority of persons said under 15 million would be an ideal housing option to work with in terms of the affordable range so that's what i did i did some research for you guys and i found some homes some of these homes are like fixer of our projects and then some of them you may actually like they're moving ready okay like moving ready so let's jump right into the video all right so the first one we're going to look at is being listed by coldwell banker and it is a two bedroom one bathroom house listed for 12 million dollars now this house it's a bit of a fixer upper um, but the kitchen is what would need the most work you do have a yard space and it is a standalone house already wall with fruit trees on the property so let's take a look at this property and what they're saying about it all right so they said this is a cute two bedroom one bathroom home and it's perfect for a young family I do agree with that if you're starting out your young family you know even a young professional on your own two bedroom one bathroom is always a great option to go with now it says it's located centrally in Kingston 8 just off Shorefoot Road the home measures 580 square feet and has a garden at the rear sit on your porch and watch your kids play on the community lawn Markland Close has a great neighborhood vibe so all right, so the lot size itself is 1,278 square feet, and then the house is actually 580 square feet. Now, based on the pictures, you can tell, you know, you do have some backyard space to work with. So, you know, you can have like your drying yard around there. You could probably even build out a porch, you know. Um, so, yeah, the kitchen is what would need the most help here. And Kingston 8 is a great location. I'm not familiar with Markland Close specifically but Kingston 8 location is always great you know you're centrally located you're close to a lot of things so that's a go so yeah I don't think this is bad you know for a standalone home in Kingston you don't really see that much often on the market especially for areas like Kingston 8 Kingston 6 um that also can work with it can work with it just of course you know you have to budget for renovations uh primarily the kitchen first you know you have to change out some bathroom fixtures here tiling so on but you do have land space you know you have a little backyard a little front area garden yeah it's a good starter home for a young family as they said all right so i will leave all the contact information for listing agents and the links to these homes down below in the description box all right guys all right so this next house that we're going to view is a townhouse and it is listed by coldwell banker as well this is a two bedroom one bathroom two story house townhouse to be exact so you know it's joined at the side with another townhouse now this house is located in the mountain view area um mountain view not the best but not the worst like there are different areas of mountain view that are like a go and then there are some areas that are like you know but yeah this townhouse is actually stated that it can be like move in ready so there are persons who are really like desperate to move you're really overpaying rent you're ready to move into somewhere you could move into this like personally i would like paint and fix up some things first but it is move in ready the bathroom doesn't look too bad the bedrooms has closet space you know windows everything looks decent rooms are small but as i said it's like a starter home like you're starting this could work all right so it is the house is 636 square feet it does have like hardwood floors mm, i don't really like that but hey to each his own but yeah you have a nice little driveway a nice little porch area and this is listed for 12 million if i did not 
already stated that so this unit is located in close proximity to schools, supermarkets, and major commercial centers. This move in Ready Townhouse could be yours today. Don't miss this opportunity. Uh, yeah, so they said there's additional land space to the back for expansion, which is always good. You know, if you have a growing family, expand. There's space at the back. Don't always get that in Kingston. So there you go. Yeah, so that's another one being offered for you. All right, so this next property we're going to speak about is a unique one. It's great for investment, All right? So listen up. This is a five-bedroom, four-bathroom house, and it is split with between like two sides. So you can have two separate family dwellings on this property. So you know that you can live in one side and rent out the other side. That's really good. You know, it's in the Vineyard Town area. So it's listed for 13.5 million Jamaican dollars. And let's just read the description quickly. It says, two family home in Vineyard Town community, close to all amenities. Side one consists of three bedrooms, three bathrooms, living, dining room, kitchen, laundry, and den. Side two consists of two bedrooms, one bathroom, kitchen, and laundry. Veranda and garage are enclosed which is really, really great. You know, safety, comfort, you know, you can look out, you can park your car at night knowing that it's safely grilled, stored inside. All right, so I do like this house. Um, vineyard town, in terms of location. Like guys, when I'm doing the $15 million houses, like under 15 million, um, to some extent, you're going to have to compromise on location. Like you're not going to get the ideal ideal location in Kingston but you know starting persons and no persons really don't have the budget so that's why I'm doing this video you know showing you what can be offered for you under 15 million and I'll do one with the 10 to 20 million so you're gonna see better options there but for now this one can be a start for you as I said you can rent out one unit and then you can live in the other with your small family all right, you do have large yard space, you know, to the side. Um, seeing some space around the back, you know, space for a drying yard. The living room is quite large, living and dining area. Ceilings don't look super low. You know, you'd have to work on the flooring here, like change out these tiles and so on. Wall is good everything looks good so far other than that and you know with homes like these like fixer uppers you just want to make sure that you have you know, a contractor come in make sure the bones of the house are good and then you're good to go and stuff like that so yeah this is not a bad option all right so let's look at our fourth home now this one definitely needs a lot of work but you know can work with this one is listed at exactly 15 million dollars and it's a four bedroom two bathroom single family house located in kingston 20. now this house the kitchen needs work all right the bathrooms need work um i'm not seeing pictures of the bedrooms but i may imagine that they need work but you do have like a large you know well a sizable backyard area um, you have a back veranda, back and front veranda, single carport. The fully fence with gate to enter the property, easy access to shops, post office, and public transportation. Now it says this single family home is need in need of some TLC. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, living, dining room, kitchen, laundry area with bathroom. All right, so yeah, this property does need some TLC see all right but as i said the main thing to look at with fixer upper homes is to ensure that the bones of the house is good foundation roofing all of that once that clearing up people and then you just work out like how much renovations would cost you and then you can see if that would be you know worthwhile for you a uh, kitchen need help um bathroom for sure for sure for sure but you do have like backyard space, drying yard, all these things. So you do have fruit trees also on this property. So not bad, you know, not, not bad, you know, not the worst. 
as I said before guys I will link all of these homes in the description box below also comment down below tell me which houses you are liking what you also think of this like home series should I continue it do you want to see the under 20 million homes all right so just make sure you comment tell me that down below this home is a home with a view guys this is a three bedroom two bathroom house and it's listed for 10 million dollars like 10 million dollars all right so this house is located in the kingston 2 area so let's read the description and see what it's working with this property could easily be your ideal home it is a single story semi-detached residential structure in a good condition consisting of a master bedroom with ensuite bathroom two additional bedrooms one bathroom living and dining area linen closet internal and external storerooms and an internal laundry area no improvement is required all offers will be considered so you have a master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and then the two other bedrooms will share the other bathroom um yeah this this is actually in a move in ready state you do have some good cabinets here living room area kind of small you know but can work with bathroom needs a little fixing up not really not gonna lie it needs a bit of updating in my opinion but it can work and you do have a nice view of the mountains here um this is a kingston 2 area and based on my research kingston 2 should be like uh what's this saying windward road or the port royal probably even harbor view area down there you guys can correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but yeah that's where this house should be located so this can work you know guys it's not bad and for 10 million that's a good price um areas like these though i think I've been concerned about like erosion, flooding, you know. So just have a discussion, you know, try to get a feel of the area, what it has to offer, if that's like an issue there or not. But if it is if it isn't an issue, the link is in the description box. You can just reach out to the listing agents if you want to view it. Now before I get trashed in the comments saying under 15 million dollars it's too much like guys honestly i just want to tell you guys this it don't get no cheaper in town like the the houses for nine million dollars I, I wouldn't even show those on youtube they're going to take a lot of work you're basically paying for land you know you see you buy a house at nine million dollars in kingston or eight million you're really paying for land because more than likely the house that's on the property it may have to be like completely demolished or renovations are going to cost you so much that it's probably going to take you back up to like 15 million just being honest like that's kingston you can't compare kingston to like the rural areas in jamaica and i keep telling you guys this over and over landing kingston is going to be more expensive houses in kingston is going to be more expensive like I really searched hard to find these under 15 million dollar homes that were like semi presentable to you guys so I do hope you appreciate it we still have some more homes to look at but I just want to put that disclaimer before a person start trashing me and going at me in the comments like the real estate market in Kingston it goes up even areas that aren't the best areas like it goes up like constantly all the time you wouldn't believe like this is not country this is not west milan this is not saint elizabeth this is not portland i'm telling you the honest truth like the real estate here in kingston it goes up like six um, like seven million dollar homes don't exist here no honestly seven million dollar homes don't exist in kingston so don't so please in the comments don't be like Brittany. we need seven million dollar homes in kingston where would i find them where they don't exist all right just putting that out there all right let's get back in 
<laughs> Alright, just putting that out there. Let's get back into the video. I believe this is our sixth home and this home is listed for 14 million dollars it's a two bedroom two bathroom house located in harbor view all right so this house does have a space at the back to the sides you know good yard space the living room um it's uh, okay size you know it's fenced walled all the way around you do have large fruit trees on the property it's grilled so there's some benefits to this house you know the house are gone also go on with a little team right yeah it can work with guys as you know you just have to budget for some renovation some fixing up and this one can work with all right so this is being listed by Keller Williams Realty Company and it's not bad let's read the description real quick so it says Harborview house in good condition with laundry and bathroom added and room for further expansion where you can also add an upstairs price to sell quickly drive by and make your offer so the land size like the actual lot size is 3600 square feet so you know that's a sizable lot size right so that's really good so as i said there's room for expansion you know you can add on more increase your real estate value on this property not bad again it's listed for 14 million dollars two bedroom two bathroom and i'll link it in the description box below all right so our seventh and final property is a two bedroom one bathroom apartment now as you know in kingston apartment living is like the norm you may not always find houses or even townhouses to purchase apartment living is pretty much the norm here so here you have one that's listed for 12 million dollars it's newly renovated so let's take a look at this property now it says that it's newly renovated two bedroom apartment one bathroom living dining kitchen and laundry it's centrally located this apartment features granite kitchen with solid cupboard it's close to schools shopping entertainment and hospital easy access to public transportation so what i like about this property it is newly renovated there's not much work to do here if any at all kitchen is in great condition nice granite countertop is a bit small but for 12 million dollars like this ain't nobody know you could even look into using this as like an investment property you could rent this out two bedroom one bath 12 million dollars nice to start the bedrooms can hold you know decent furniture not the largest in terms of size you know with this apartment but definitely not bad at all it's grilled all right, so that was the last housing option that I had to show you today. So tell me in the comments down below which property was your favorite, which one are you vibing with, do you enjoy this series? All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload a video first. Um, guys, I want to say sorry for like the lack of videos, but if you didn't know already, I am a teacher. I'm teaching the fifth grade and with all the chaos that was with pep we thought we were doing pep so i was getting my students ready for pep and then they're like no pep is postponed we're going back to in-person working so i've been back to in-person working it got a bit hectic but the channel doesn't stop like we're only growing and i want to thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers let's hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this month thank you also to the support on my how to build like costs for building materials video that video is doing really well and i know that i've gained a quite quite a few amounts of subscribers from that video so if you're from that video hey thanks for joining the family here and i hope you enjoy this video furniture videos are coming furniture videos are coming i know i know furniture videos are coming so guys just bear with me with this month you will get videos you know we see when the month is over, I will lick summer, a girl free up, we're outside. Videos, videos galore.
all right so thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to like um go ahead and click one of these videos that youtube's going to recommend for you and check out the channel binge watch the channel forget about netflix binge watch the channel great value all right bye guys